Sem caleta. La próxima vez te voy a buscar, te voy a decir una comida. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to this hearing of the City Council's Transportation Committee. Annie Daniel Rodriguez, the chair of the committee. First, let me recognize my colleagues who are here with us today. Council Member uh, Holder, uh, Dodge, Cohen, Cabrera, Ku, Menchaca, Reynoso, Espinal. Uh, this bill that we will be voting today will address the many safety and traffic concerns that arise when a vehicle is left on the sidewalk near a fire hydrant, bike lanes, or bus lanes. These designated areas are not for cars, and this bill will ensure that the city is enforcing that. Anyone from the media will say by saying that the law today? And the answer is no. The law today in those areas empower the men and women, the NYPD or the traffic enforcement to give a ticket. What we are adding today is to empower, empowering the city to remove those vehicles if they park in those areas. One important matter to point is that across the city, many of our bus stops, fire, fire hydrants area are not marked and it, leave, it create a confusion where the city, in my case, in many occasions, use that confusion to give tickets and to raise revenue. So the city must paint the bus stops as well as a fire hydrant now because I myself, as know many taxi drivers and many other, when you are parking near a fire hydrant and you know that you will be obeying the law, you mark yourself what no one knows what is the distance. Is that 12 feet or is that 15 feet the distance for a, a, a driver to park the vehicle from the fire drive? So the same thing with the bus stop. I have an area in my community in Inwood, 201 and 10th Avenue, that the driver, they don't know what is the distance that they should not get into the bus stop area. So as someone that we know that we need to raise the revenue because we need money, but also we need to improve safety, uh, we are ready to support the bills of this Cali. I will be adding my name too, but I also want to ask the city of New York to paint, to mark the distance where drivers should not park the vehicle close to the fire drive, as the same for the bus stop. It, as I said, it, you know, today we will be voting on proposed intro 1412-A, sponsored by council member Holden. This bill will provide that police departments, tow trucks, may remove unattended vehicles that are obstructing a sidewalk, crosswalk, fire hydrants, bicycle lane, or bus lane if the vehicle possess a threat to safety or would inhibit the safe and expeditious passage of the MTA buses. This bill will also require the police department to issue a report on January of 2021 that includes for each month in 2020 the number of vehicle toll Disaggregated, disaggregated by police presence. Eh, hoy estamos votando un proyecto de ley que es muy importante porque empodera a la policía que los vehículos que se dejen sin los choferes dentro de áreas que sean de sidewalk, en la pompa de agua, estaciones de autobuses sean removidos. Hoy también yo le estoy pidiendo que la ciudad de Nueva York actúe ya pintando esa área cerca de la pompa, cerca de los autobuses, donde un chofer no puede parquear el vehículo, pero que la ciudad lo ha dejado con la intención de dar ticket también. 
no marcar la distancia para poner la claridad sobre en cuál área que un chofer no debe de, par de parquear. Eh, I would now like to invite the sponsor of the bill, council member Holden, to deliver his opening statements, and then we move on on voting on this bill. Thank you, Chair Rodriguez. This is a very important bill um, that we're voting on today. Um, right now, the police can tow any vehicle. However, they'll tow vehicles that are parked 10 minutes over on a muni meter. They'll, they'll tow vehicles at their discretion. But safety is not really the main concern. And I think we should make a priority for safety. I think everybody would agree that there, we're seeing a lot of cars parked at hydrants, crosswalks, uh, bike lanes, bus lanes, and it gets to the point where people can't walk. They have to walk in the street, it, especially around precincts. I think we've all noticed that, that uh, there's placard abuse. This, this bill was originally part of the placard abuse package, and it, it is still, except we had to work out some details with towing. And this ha and the fact that, uh, and, I, and I appreciate the Speaker Johnson actually you know, adding important um, uh, parts to this bill, the reporting is very, very important uh, that we get reports every month and make sure the police are towing um, you know, crosswalks that are blocked. And I see it, I think everybody in, in, sees this in the city of New York now. In fact, I walked into a number of uh, firehouses and they were pleading with me to do something about people that are parking at hydrants. In fact, they go to fires in my district and they can't find the fire hydrant. It delays several minutes in fighting the fires because they can't find the hydrant because somebody is parked in front of it. So my, I'm actually introducing additional legislation today at the stated that will require a DOT to mark uh, the hydrant with a stencil in the middle of the street, like a, like a sort of a symbol of a fire hydrant, possibly in red, uh, that would tell the firefighters where the fire hydrant is located. That's how bad it's gotten. But you also see people parking in crosswalks, which is very, very dangerous, because people have to walk in the street to get around. But in my district, and I think many other districts with driveways in the front of people's homes, they are now parking, like tandem parking, and blocking the sidewalk. So you have to go around, especially in the snowstorms, you have to go into the street to get around and the sidewalk is blocked. And in, in, in the past, the police would not handle this. And this, this bill would actually make it um, an option. It's still at the police discretion, but this will make it uh, more safe, I think, in the city of New York. But we have to actually check monthly, uh, and that's where we all come in. We have to make sure that the police are enforcing safety regulations and, and making our sidewalks and streets much safer. So many tragedies we've had around New York City. Uh, we've had a number of bicyclists that have been killed because somebody was blocking the bike lane and they go out into the main traffic area and get struck. And um, that is such a, a, a serious issue. So we have to start making it civilized out there in New York City that we enforce our regulations, but with a priority for safety. So I just wanna, I wanna thank the committee. Uh, I hope uh, we have um, support on this bill. Uh, it's, it's been a thing I've been working on for over a year because um, I first discovered, when I moved into my new office in Middle Village back in March of um, 2018, we have a fire hydrant right outside that was blocked the whole week. And I, of course, I had it ticketed every day, but I, I said to the police, when are you gonna to tow this? And they said, we don't do that. And I said, what do you mean you don't, you don't tow from a hydrant? That's very dangerous if there's a fire. And this guy was actually blocking dead center of the hydrant. For, and he left his car there a week. I finally got it towed, but then that's what, that was the motivation for this bill. And that started it. And then I just started to discover it people blocking, and especially in sections of my district and uh, Antonio Reynoso's district, they're blocking crosswalks. They're parked on the sidewalks. And some blocks, uh, three or four blocks in a row, I would see blocking the hydrants. And I said, enough is enough. So um, I did you know, push this bill, and I hope um, everyone will support it. But I think it's a very, very important component into the placard abuse uh, package. Thank you very much, Chair.
Thank you. And, and this bill will help a lot in the direction that we're going also to create the New York City Pedestrian and Cyclist Department, uh, for which we will have a hearing on the 16th next week. Uh, I now call for the vote on proposed intro 1412-A. I recommend a yes vote, and, a, and I ask the committee clerk to please call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Transportation, introduction 1412-A, Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Cabrera. Aye, and congratulations to Councilman Holden. Uh, this is literally gonna save lives, thank you. Cohen. Permission to explain my vote. Uh, just be, I also uh, want to say congratulations uh, to my colleague, and I, I just I think that this bill does really codify safety as a guiding principle uh, in NYPD exercising their authority to tow, and I think that makes a lot of sense. So uh, I'm very pleased to vote aye. Thank you. Deutsch. Permission to explain my vote. Yeah. So uh, for, for six years, it's, it was like pulling teeth uh, when you need to have the traffic department enforce uh, dangerous conditions, uh, whether you parked at a hydrant or at a bus stop. And also when it comes to trailers um, parked on the streets uh, overnight, uh, you know, NYPD only has two heavy duty tow trucks that uh, tow these trailers uh, for the entire city. And each time I need to get a tow truck, um, I have to make like an appointment, like going to the dentist or the doctor, I get that trailer like two, three weeks later. And uh, it's very unfortunate that we have to pass a bill to make sure that these dangerous conditions are enforced by the New York City Police Department. So with that, I'd like to thank my colleague, Councilmember Bob Holden, for putting this important bill uh, for a vote. And um, I'm, I'm proud of this bill, and we need to make sure to enforce. And especially in my district, we had um, two, uh, two major fires where one case, um, seven Seven young people uh, died in that, uh, in that fire, and, and another, there was uh, three from the same family who died in, in the second fire. So it's important that uh, people do not block hydrants, uh, they're not parked there overnight, and the fire department should know exactly where the fire hydrants are. So with that being said, I vote aye. Espinal. I vote aye. Congratulations to Bob. Ku. Levine. Aye. Menchaca. Congratulations. I vote aye. Reynoso. Uh, permission to explain my vote. Uh, I want to congratulate Councilmember Holden, but I just really want to get to the roots of why this problem exists. Uh, it's not that more people are parking in front of hydrants because they want to, or more people are parking in crosswalks because they want to. We have too many cars in the city of New York. It's the same infrastructure with continual increase in car ownership. We're not gonna have new streets. We're not gonna create new streets, unfortunately. So that means that we have to do something about the amount of cars that we have. Uh, so I congratulate uh, Councilman Robert Holden again for the great piece of legislation that we did here and hopefully we can start addressing the issue of the overproliferation of cars in the city of New York, which is the root problem of, of most of these issues. So I vote aye. By a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you, and before we finish, I would like to, in honor that I speak in the name of all members of this committee, our prayer to the family who lost a three-year-old boy yesterday, killing El Barrio. Council member, if you don't mind. It, as you know, yesterday, a three-year-old boy lost his life in the intersection 116 and First Avenue. So as a committee of transportation, we would like to send a prayer to the family at the same time. I continue asking the city of New York, the State Department, the New York City Department of Transportation to redesign intersection, separating the time for driver to turn and, so, and for pedestrian to cross by in those intersections. Unfortunately, we lost another person yesterday and that's how we are coming to the end of this year, and that should not happen. With that, uh, this hearing is adjourned.